This is such a sad news, reaching social media on the late hours of Tuesday, 30th of July 2024, that Onyeka Owenu, one of Africa's finest singer, songwriter, journalist, and activist, has passed on to glory. If you're a lover of good music from the 80s and 90s, then you would definitely be a big fan of Onyeka Owenu. She was invited to perform at the 80th birthday party of Mrs. Stella Okoli. According to eyewitnesses, she had a successful performance and didn't show any sign of weakness or sickness. Shockingly, after her performance, she collapsed and was quickly rushed to a nearby hospital but was pronounced dead by the doctors. The video on your screen is a clip from her last performance at the 80th birthday party of Mrs. Stella Okoli. Let's take a listen. <laughs> In this video, I am going to keep it positive and just talk about 30 interesting facts about this beautiful icon. Because though she is physically gone, but her work would definitely outlive her and her legacy lives on. Moyeka Owenu was born on the 31st of January 1952, which makes her 72 years old as at the time of her passing. She hails from Aron Dizogu of the Southern Eastern Region in Imo State, Nigeria. Born into the family of late Dixon Kanu Owenu. Father Dixon Owenu was a teacher and politician in the 1950s. Sadly, Onyeka Owenu lost her father at a young age of four and she went through a challenging childhood with her siblings and mother since they were denied access to their late father's property. Raised by a widow in a small town, Onyeka Owenu attended St. Cyprian School Amumara after which she proceeded to Amumara Girls Secondary School in Bise and after that Zikston Grammar School, Ozubulu, Anambra. She furthered her education in the United States at Wesley College, where she studied mass communication and international relations. She obtained her master's degree in media studies at the New School of Social Research, New York in 1979. Oyeka Owenu has always loved jobs that put her in front of people. She had a passion for communication. During her early years, she worked as a tour guide at the United Nations, taking people around the United Nations and explaining the several functions of the UN to them. She then worked with BBC from 1977 to 1979. In 1980, Oyeka Owenu made a big move. She returned to Nigeria to work in Nigeria Television Authority, NTA, as a broadcaster. During her time in NTA, she was known to be outstanding in her duties as a broadcaster. A year after her return to Nigeria, she decided to further her passion for music. She released a debut album titled Endless Life in 1981. In 1982, she released the album Walk Right Back to Me. She worked with other notable musicians like Sonny Okosun and King Sonny Ade. Some of her popular songs include One Love, Ekwe, Iogogo, Bianulu, Greatest Love, One Nation, amongst others. She wrote most of her songs herself. She mostly sings about issues of life, the importance of unity, the beauty of Nigerian culture, respect for women and children, and human rights. She describes her music as African pop. While listening to her music, you would hear traces of Afrobeats, jazz, and high life. Her unique music style attracted several awards like Best Artist, 
awarded by P-Man in 1988. She also got the Global Media Awards awarded by Pan-African Arts and Music Awards. She got a special recognition in 2007 by Nigeria Music Award. She also ventured into acting in 1995. She got her first movie role in a movie titled Nightmare, in which she played the role of Joke, featuring alongside notable actors like Pete Edoche. She has since featured in several movies, which includes Half of a Yellow Sun, Ije Awele, Women's Court, Rising Moon, Omalize, God's Calling, Conspiracy, Lion Arts, amongst others. She also went into politics under the People's Democratic Party. In September 2013, she was appointed Chief Executive Officer of the National Center for Women Development. In 2013, she was announced as one of the judges of X Factor, a singing reality TV show where she co-judged alongside Nigerian rapper M.I. and Ghanaian artist Reggie Rockstone. In 2016, she featured in Fino's hit song titled Ochi Dike. In 2016, she was a speaker at the Young Women Entrepreneurs Forum in US. In 2020, she published a book titled My Father's Daughter, a book where she tells the story of her journey through life. In 2020, she was on the cover of Life magazine. In 2021, she was interviewed by popular TV host Chud in his renowned TV show with Chud. In November 2021, she got the Wimby's Legend Award for her achievements in music. In March 2022, she was featured by Media Room Hub in honor of her 70th birthday. In 2023, she pledged her support for presidential election candidate Peter Obi of Labour Party. Nigeria was thrown into mourning on the 30th of July 2024 when it was announced that Onyeka Owenu had passed on. She had successfully performed at the 80th birthday party of Stella Okoli. Eyewitnesses said that she collapsed just after the performance and was immediately rushed to a nearby hospital but was pronounced dead by the doctors. Social media has since gone abuzz with colleagues, friends and fans posting pictures and videos to mourn the sudden passing of the legendary singer, actor, author and activist. Let's enjoy this live performance she did at the Umwebi August meeting in Imo State on the 11th of August 2022. Oh, oh, the that I say rest in peace, Oyeka Owenum. We at Becky Culture Media is sending our heartfelt condolences to the Owenu family. We pray that God gives them the strength to bear this irreplaceable loss. If you're a fan of Onyeka Owenu, I would like to hear from you. Let's drop our tribute and condolence messages for her and her family in the comment section below. This broadcast was brought to you by Becky Culture Media, where we talk about trending news and events. If you found the video helpful, then please click on the like button and share with a friend. If you are new to the channel, you're most definitely welcome. You can join the family by subscribing to the channel and also click on the notification bell so you can get free notifications whenever there is a new upload here. I'll be so happy to have you as part of the Becky Culture family. To all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.